think it's a game. Oh, daddy, 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 So again, a veteran crew off and running here for Ole Miss. They've got a ton of seniors on this roster. It's a good basketball team. Won three in a row. Certainly beat Tennessee for the first time in many years. Last time out. And right nice away shot. for Davis. Pulls off and knocks it down from the elbow. On cue with our intro package tonight. Rises up from about 10 feet. That mid-range jump shot. Starting five for Vanderbilt. Typical starting five for head coach Jay Ralph. Your top three scorers, Jordan Cambridge, Ayanna Moore, Sasha Washington. Four seconds to shoot. Here's Moore. Shot clock violation for Vanderbilt. Starting five for Ole Miss. Heads up for Madison Scott. Preseason all first uh, all SEC first team. Davis again with five to shoot. Swirls out. Picked up by Cambridge. Yeah, they start one guard, four forwards. Even that one guard, Davis, is six foot. It is good, and the foul. Pass break Bakway. On the kick out for Collins. That's no good. Skips off the rim. Rebound picked up by Sasha Washington. Great box out by Washington there. The defensive glass. On the post up for Washington. Left-handed layup is good. It's a beautiful action there. Nice little high ball screen. Sasha Washington did a nice job of diving to the basket. And what a patient delivery for Moore. Really patient. Waited for Washington to get to her spot. Nice maneuvering for that finish. No good for Collins. Picked up by Cambridge. On the trailer, Passat for three. You Ooh. bet, Ripcord, Justine Passat. Woo! That was pretty. You could see it developing the whole time with Cambridge to Passat. Stepped out of bounds. Another turnover called against Old Miss. Vanderbilt gets it back. High post for Washington. And taken away by Old Miss. Davis against Washington. No good, but a foul. A couple of free throws here from Arquisha Davis. Matched it versus Western Kentucky. Twice so far this season, Makaraj gone for 18 points. Ole Miss averages six and a half blocks per game and on pace to break a school record this year with this, this team here. Yeah, 150 coming into today. 174 was set a season ago for Ole Miss. Travel. But they also have incredible continuity, and they seem to be on the same page with their coverages. You can see their defense. Look at their ranks. But 57 points per game and 8 of 20 opponents at less than 50 points, Andrew. That is incredible. And they all elevate. Obviously, we talked about the block shot. So every way you can do it defensively, they certainly can. Vanderbilt has not scored in 235. Always talk about made free throws allow you to set up that press as well. On the drive for Davis. Boy, so quick against the freshman Pierre. Three seconds to shoot. Collins fires a three. Broke it for Collins. Yes, Justine Passat, her second. Right back to Vanderbilt's. 
The difference is four for four from the free throw line here for Old Miss and a couple three pointers knocked down by Justine Pesai. Great pass. Nice speed. No good, but a couple of free throws here for Camille Pierre. Camille Pierre, the two time SEC freshman of the week. Goes two for two at that fantastic performance. Final five seconds, first quarter. Madison Scott into the corner. Triple is no good for Davis. And through 10 minutes of play, Vanderbilt 12 to 9. You get a little more early offense, and it's a little bit easier as well. Here's Pierre, physical take off the glass and in for the freshman from outside of Phoenix, Arizona. She's just been amazing this year. I have loved watching her progression. No good on the triple try that time. No good for Todd Williams. A transfer from North Carolina. Davis quick to the rack. Off the glass and in for two. She's got six points. Did you see that right there? So what you saw was a Bakwa setting what looks like she's setting her seal in the post but really what she's doing is allowing that to be a screen for the driver to get to the basket sort of a legal illegal way to set a screen i believe that falls into the category of institutionalized defense <laughs> like speeding like 70 is okay at a 65. <laughs> you've seen that find its way into our game a lot more both men's and women's you see it there again yeah, two consecutive times No good for Pierre. These two teams are figuring their way out. It's a big game. We can either see great defense or the offense needs to pick up and on cue. Nice jump shot. Pull up jump shot. No good for Cambridge. And a defensive rebound brought in by Singleton. Right down the floor for Todd Williams. Free throw line. No good. Great hustle. She's got That's, her own rebound. Yeah, fifth offensive rebound for Old Miss. She's a nice, nice player. Three for seven from the floor, three for three from the free throw line. 8 on one here for Old Miss. Really allows you to set up, be able to control exactly what you want Vanderbilt to do with the ball and if you're Vanderbilt you take away those offensive rebounds allowed now Very you true. sidestep the free throw issue Makarov no good Pierre yes not only did it end the scoring drought your first offensive rebound and, and second chance point and Pierre continues to play great basketball her sixth point on the night out of bounds off of Old Miss has a good first step with that explosion on the glass for Camille Pierre. See if Moore or Cambridge can get a shot right here. Oh, oh look nice at that. look. The finger roll, Camille Pierre. Richardson had a big time performance against Tennessee with 21 points. Blow by and a score. That's Stevenson, the freshman from Virginia Beach, Virginia. So you can put that in the category of second chance points as well. Bucket. Jordan Cambridge knocks down the triple. First points of the ball game for the senior from Nashville. See Vanderbilt going to switch to more of a zone look here on this possession. They follow into their man-to-man. -man. Again, another one of those seal-offs in the post. And it turns into a bucket here. Nice finish by Todd Williams. Nice drive. Vanderbilt three for eight from three-point range. Entry pass to Singleton. Loose ball. On the kick out for Richardson. The drive. Boy, did that bounce off of Camille Pierre's face. That you got to bring that help side defender all the way to the other side of the lane. Nice interception by Scott. Right down the floor. And a foul is called against Vanderbilt.
Well, look, give Ole Miss a lot of credit. So far here today, they've done exactly what they do. First off, the defense is a plus 17 to 9 rebound advantage. Ole Miss. No good, but a couple of free throws on that possession. The sophomore guard from Pennsylvania brought it. 0 for 2 from the free throw line. Vanderbilt 2 for 5. Here's the take for Collins. And a three second call. <laughs> Big motion. Never stops. Yeah. <laughs> Cambridge. Yes. Pure for Jordan Cambridge. Six points. And Vanderbilt draws within one. That's what we said. It's more for Cambridge. Ending this half with some confidence. Big shot. First free throw for Stevenson is no good. I know we've talked about it a couple of the calls here tonight. It is worth pointing out again. It's a very Oliver, a stutter step. Fade and fire. Boy, just would not go down for Vanderbilt. A couple of short range shots. Nice, fade and fire that time. As Carissa Richardson, the sophomore from Georgia, makes it a four-point game in favor of Ole Miss, 28 to 24. Big time move. Nice footwork. Moore fires a three. It's good. First bucket of the ball game for Ayanna Moore out of Murfreesboro, Tennessee. Vanderbilt now five of ten from three. We said tonight was going to be the night. Would the three-point line be kind enough to the Commodores? Foul called against Ole Miss. There's the consistency with it. Vanderbilt's going to have to figure something out. Nice bucket for Pierre. Love that set there. Use more as a decoy. Slipped Pierre into the post to create that angle and score for it. Last shot. Same action may be coming right here. Final 10 seconds, first half. Massive game in the Southeastern Conference. No good for Ayanna Moore. Four seconds. Davis with so much speed down the floor. The finger roll is good at the buzzer. My goodness, did she cover some grounds? Davis. Well, the starting five for Vanderbilt back out there to start the second half. And a foul is called against Collins. Just like that. It's a quick whistle. Seven seconds into the second half. I believe she disagrees. That's the second personal foul called against Collins, the top three-point shooter for Old Miss. What? What a battle for Sasha Washington trying to get post position. She goes one-on-one. -on -one. Off the glass and then has to get physical. She's got four points. See if Vanderbilt goes back to that zone to take advantage of one for five. Three-point shooting in the first half. And they got a blockout rebound out of that zone. It's good for Davis. 15 points. One for three from distance now for Davis. Rebels by two. What a smooth stroke. Davis showing a variety of ways to get a basket tonight. High post for Sasha. Hand off for Passat. Good cut. feed. And a finish, Jordan Oliver. She's got four points. What a pass by Passat. What a great backdoor cut by Oliver. No good for Maddie Scott down low. Big 21 points versus Tennessee for Richardson. Here's Oliver versus Singleton. Up and under move. Off the glass. And it's gone. Not a ton from Scott here tonight. Two points. 
averages 10.2 points per game. Here's Davis. Good morning. Great. Great. It is still Vanderbilt's ball. 6.14 to go, third quarter. No good for Cambridge off the baseline of the bounds. There's that, there's that screen off again. And again, the consistency is there. So Vanderbilt is going to have to find a way to fight through it, make an adjustment, whatever it happens to be. You know it's coming. Yeah. And you also know at this point of the ball game, it's almost certainly not going to be called. There's a foul rejected by Richardson. First free throw. Boy, Vanderbilt has struggled at the free throw line. Two for six. See what's and again. We're talking about Scott, 24, who shields off more. Look again. We've covered it. It's not going to be called. The consistency has been there by this crew. Right now, you've got to figure it out. If you're Vanderbilt, on the other side, Old Miss has done a fantastic job Absolutely. executing the coach's uh, directions. Look at that pass. Jump shot is good. Right on through for Matty Scott. Four points here today. That's a beautiful pass from Todd Williams. Well, the other part, if you're Vanderbilt, if you're going to figure it out, quote-unquote, some of that is making your free throws if they're going to trend toward calling those hand-checking fouls called against Old Miss. Fade and fire. No good. Really good in transition. There's Great a steal defense. for Ayanna Moore. Three on three toward the glass for Moore is fouled. And again, a senior laden team that no doubt has their sights set on returning, if not advancing, past the Sweet 16 here this season. First free throw is good for Moore. The opportunity to get into the NCAA tournament. And if Vanderbilt does that, it's the first time since 2014 for the women's program. And again, the length is so good. Igbakwe at six foot four. Even Scott matched up with Diana Moore. Significant size advantage. Jump shot is good. Todd Williams, yes. The transfer from North Carolina makes it a three point advantage on that mid range jump shot that Old Miss has been good with. And essentially, that was another second chance point. Yes. I mean, you, you get the rebound. It was a tie up, I know, but you received a second chance opportunity of that possession. Here's Sasha Washington. Battles and scores. Davis versus Moore. There's the screen. There's the drive. It is good. Boy, 21 points for Davis. So good. See how high she gets on that jump shot? And. Even her legs kind of gets a little extra energy in her shot. Yeah, she's been so fun to tough. watch here tonight. Cambridge, foul. And you can see some of the adjustments on the drive, right? There was that switch, so Pierre's there matched up with Davis to try to cut off the drive. And you also saw more, I think, jump in front of the Bakwe to try to cut off that seal. First free throw is good. And despite all of that, still makes it. We always say good. Good offense. offense beats. Absolutely. Yeah, good defense. Yeah. She jumped up and made a shot for her 21st point. One for two for Cambridge at the free throw line. On the drive, Todd Williams. There's the switch to Sasha Washington. Right back to Richardson. A physical take and a kick. Right back down low. Like Bakwe with those three personal fouls, five seconds to shoot. It is good for Matty Skies. This is the largest lead of the game for Old Miss. Vanderbilt turns it over. Loose ball. Picked up by Todd Williams. It is good. So a <laughs> six point advantage is the largest lead of the game here for the Rebels. So sorry, Andrew. Another mid range jump shot, though. I mean, it's just incredible how many of those they, they've made in this game. They've got the length to make this run. Well, this is the run of the ball game. It kind of feels like it. More for three. Massive, massive bucket for Ariana Moore. She's got eight points. That was huge. And a steal for Vanderbilt down the floor. Moore, one on one with Todd Williams, is flipped aside. 
I like the take, though, then try to force the pass across the paints, which becomes a turnover. I love this. She receives the basketball. Nice little shot fake. Once again, we saw her around the rim with the shot fake to draw the foul. But watch this. Nice shot fake. Didn't even have to use the dribble. Squared up on balance. Knocked that shot down. Hope Miss got turned around on who it's supposed to take more after the screen. And Moore took advantage of it. Looking for Sasha. Pierre's got it. There's the bounce pass. Looking for Oliver. Intercepted. Funky possession for Vanderbilt in transition. Nakwis Ibakwe picked it up and scores. First two points of the game for Ibakwe. On the take for Washington. Hook shot with the left is no good. Rebound picked up by Richardson. It's a great move. Just unable to finish, but Sasha, nice footwork in the post. Final 10 seconds, third quarter. A chance for Old Miss to take their largest lead of the game. Five seconds. Todd Williams versus Moore. Off the glass and good. 51-44, level surge in the third quarter. They've got tremendous length. And look, Jordan Cambridge is a tremendous player for Vanderbilt, but she's 5'9". Ayanna Moore, 5'9". There's Cambridge. Nice cut. On the kickout, Moore fires a three. Book it! High on the ball. Big. 51 to 47. Vanderbilt has needed a critical shot the past couple of possessions. It's been Moore. All got started with that great cut. I know Cambridge didn't finish that, but it was a great cut, and it got the collapsing defense of Ole Miss to allow that shot for Moore. Foul called against Sasha Washington, her third personal. It's Collins, another one of those long wings as well. You got Scott, and you got Davis. All four are so versatile in terms of being able to switch, play one through four, multi-positions. Thought about a three, there's a hand by Singleton. Entry pass for Sasha Washington, faces up with Davis. Goes to work for Sasha. Hook shot is no good. And a foul is called against Sasha. Look out, number four. You can see the coaching going on with Shea Ralph and Sasha Washington. Sasha's still going to be significant down the stretch. Substitution with Camille Pierre. 31 to 22 in rebounds. A huge part of today's ball game. Davis fades, fires, no good. Offensive rebound by Old Miss. Collins for three. Rattles through. They are 14 in the Southeastern Conference in three-point shooting percentage. They've knocked out a couple of here today. Set up again by that offensive rebound by Matty Scott. Foul on Collins. The fourth personal foul on Collins. Vanderbilt's trailing by nine, and she drills the triple. She's got 14 points. Sasha, good physical defense. Vanderbilt gets the loose ball. Seven minutes to go. Pierre pump fakes a three, takes it toward the rack. Oh, what a finish! Stumbling toward the floor. Cambridge has three personal fouls. Matched up with Davis now. Todd Williams fires a three. No good. Oh, boy. Picked up. That's on. And we've given so much praise to Camille Pierre. That one was there for Pierre. Yes. Agree. Creates another second chance opportunity at the free throw line. Yeah, freshman give it and take it. Five and a half to go. Richardson. Two for two. 
I like Vanderbilt's recognition of this switch. And getting a small on Sasha Washington right here in the post. And Ayanna Moore has this matchup as well. Bounce pass for Sasha. Goes back to her left. And it's foul. Which makes it a surprise that she's on the bench at this moment. In part because of those four personal fouls. Free throws have been a problem for Vanderbilt. 50% here today. 6 for 12. In a game that you trail by 6. Out of bounds off of Agamakura. Scott versus Makara. Boy, some big minutes for freshmen for Vanderbilt. On the try for Davis, pull-up jump shot. Oh, book it. Davis, 23 points to match the total from Tennessee. Impressive about that shot. She didn't even use a glass on that shot. That did, She just rose up and stuck that basketball in the basket. So good. Moore, triple try. You bet. Ayanna Moore, goodness. Scotts versus Oliver. No good and a rebound by Pierre. One attempt on that trip down the floor for Old Miss. Under four minutes to go. A six-point game. Again, two versus five in the SEC standings here tonight. That's going to stay with Vanderbilt. All right. Igbakwe is done. That's number five for Igbakwe. The most significant inside presence for Old Miss. They've got a bunch of them, but she is the most significant. That is the fifth personal foul. Bakway right there thought she was vertical and may have had an argument there, but the foul was called. Now, the importance for Vanderbilt right here is can you go to the free throw line and convert? 63% this season for Pierre. One for two. Five-point game. Just one steal so far tonight for Cambridge, but she's got to be careful again with those poor personal fouls. Cambridge, Washington, and Collins on the floor with four. Entry pass is knocked loose. That goes back to Vanderbilt. This is a must score right here for Vanderbilt. Let's see what Coach Ralph calls. Little pin down coming for Moore. Got the switch. Foul called against Singleton. Oh for two. Held ball. Back to Old Miss. Deflected by Oliver. Loose ball. Moore's got it. Down the floor. Moore versus Collins. Under three to go. Cambridge has some space. Cambridge fires. No good. It's been a tough night, and certainly a team that sits in that 4-5-6 conversation NCAA tournament. On the drive. No good, but a foul. Just a recipient of a her fifth foul. Yeah, she's feeling it tonight. 0 for 4 from the free throw line. Right on through. At time for Scott. No good. Rebound goes to Vanderbilt. A six-point game. 2.15 to go. Intercepted. Numbers for Old Miss. Collins. No good. Rebound picked up by Moore. It's a hard shot. A little five-footer from the baseline instead of stepping up to get the layup. Moore's got space. Pierre, offensive board, is rejected by Scott. Goodness. Vanderbilt has lost three of its last four. Through a gauntlet of the Southeastern Conference turnover. 
This is the halfway point of the Southeastern Conference schedule for both teams. Both will have eight games to go before the SEC tournament. So plenty of time for Vanderbilt to make up that ground. But again, looking for that huge boost in the net rankings. Right back to Ole Miss. There's the trap on Collins. This is a foul called against Vanderbilt. South Carolina's at 7-0. Ole Miss would move to 6-2. Tennessee's at 5-2. LSU's at 5-2. Free throw is good here for Davis. Free throw is the story of this game. I mean, it's really been the differential of the points. And so many extra possessions for Old Miss with offensive rebounding. Now Vanderbilt has caught up with some offensive rebounds. It's 13 to 11. Jada Brown is in the ball game here for Vanderbilt. Final 51 seconds. Old Miss by eight. Cambridge. It's good. Great finish. Vanderbilt's got a foul. There it is. Active on the glass. Executed their plays well. Their active hands, their physicality, all of the things that, that make them who they are. But Ole Miss checked, I would think, a lot of the boxes that Coach Yo had won. I think wow. Dee Cantner has done like 26 or 27. She told us that earlier this season. Two free throws for Jordan Cambridge. But nine Final Fours, regardless, is, is remarkable. And Tiffany Bird has done two. Foul called against Vanderbilt. A college basketball official. Free throw is good. Significant make. Puts the differential to seven points, which is three possessions. So that's significant. All right, so two for two. Eight point ball game, 35 seconds to go. Cambridge right down the floor, nearly over and back. No good, but a foul. Consistently into that second tier. This one was important. We're not done yet, but it's tilting toward Opus, and so is Alabama. This was the toughest part of Vanderbilt's schedule. No doubt. No foul just yet. Ooh, she hit her face on the floor. Poor buddy. Needless to say, my now wife, who was then my fiance, did not want to go to Valentine's Day dinner <laughs> with me that night. score tonight from Nashville. Ole Miss 67, Vanderbilt 61. Ole Miss clearly in that top tier of the Southeastern Conference 6-2 and two in the SEC.